I was super impressed with it. I always, I liked, I liked Vega a lot too, right? I was all up in Vega 56 and Vega 64, right? So then, love AMD graphics cards. Then, I got the 5700 XT. Um, username is that AMD graphics card pricing has zero influence on Nvidia graphics card pricing it's the other way around you know what I mean like AMD will price their cards with whatever Nvidia has going for it and then they just won't care right so like like you you can see that now like what like it was like during the pandemic the 6700 xt was like 600 usd or something like that and like 30 60 ti's were like a thousand nobody bought the 6700 xt you know what i mean or like a 3090 was three grand and like a 6900 xt was 1500 nobody bought that shit. so like um until amd gets feature parity there it has no effect at all dude zero effect on that shit. you know what i'm saying so like and then the driver thing like the driver thing comes into play again it's like amd's planning on uh, there's another leak today I'll, I'll, i was gonna do a news segment on saturday right there was like some more leaks today that were like uh amd's planning like a 16,000 shader fucking graphics card all this whore shit it's like doesn't matter it's not gonna work their drivers are not gonna work so it's it's how can how can the price of that product bring an, a an nvidia product down when it doesn't fucking work right what do all the streamers use nvidia what do all the content creators use nvidia what does every photography videographer use premiere pro nvidia like it's like you know, it's not happening dude it's not happening <laughs> yeah malik was a good one i don't know man amd cards are pretty good if you don't feel like editing making videos encoding streaming ray tracing dlss mining gaming i guess if you're just outputting video it's okay for that the drivers i don't think that uh, even then dude you remember what the 5700 xt when you plugged in two monitors it would black them out and shit y you can't you can't even use okay if you want to browse the web on one monitor then maybe you can use an amd graphics card it's a dumpster fire like i don't it, <sighs> there is you, nothing to do with amd it's like when they get their shit together one day if and when they get their shit together dude the last video i did was the beta driver didn't fix shit didn't fix fuck all dude uh, you, uh again you also have to remember that nvidia nvidia employs more driver not driver software engineers which includes drivers than all of amd employees combined dude it's it's they're, like their engineers are good like like you already know that the amd engineers were competent they came out with zen they came out with 3d cache 3d cache in itself is quite the feat right without it spontaneously combusting 3d cache they came out with infinity cache they made a uh, big navi scale to adsms like, like the engineers are good stuff dude the hardware is all good stuff it's just like amd is relying on game developers and software engineers of the game studios to make their shit work they're not relying on themselves nvidia only nvidia relies on themselves you know what i'm saying so like if a game comes out and it's amd optimized they will go and optimize it themselves in the driver you know what i mean they don't rely on people because they have the manpower to do that shit, right that's why they're just better graphics cards they're just better in every way dude i sold my buddy on that dude this was a big fucking turning point for me for amd graphics cards so uh back in the z390 days the 9900k days right I had a 9900K and I had a I think I had a 2080 Ti at the time, and then um, I found a good deal. It it was a discontinued model. It was like the S S X F X Fat Boy or Thick Boy or something like that, and it was a two fan model. 
and this model had like a huge defect in it where it wasn't covering the memory pads or some shit right i fixed it myself after so i didn't care right but i found it on ebay for a uh very cheap price uh during like the heyday of of uh navi 1x right so anyway i bought that thing and i'm doing like fire strike and time spy scores and all this shit right and i'm like man and i used more power tools and fucking crank that shit right i'm like man i'm like the 5700 xt beats a 20 uh, a 1080 ti right i'm like this thing is fucking sick right i'm like i was super impressed with it i always i like i liked vega a lot too right i was all up in vega 56 and vega 64 right so then love amd graphics cards then i got the 5700 xt and i i was tweaking with it and i, I had no problems with it I'm like this thing is fucking sick right buddy calls me he's like i need a, i need a computer for gaming right i want to play some overwatch at the time right I'm like cool story i'll give you this 5700 xt it's fucking awesome i already got this thing dialed in perfectly right so i sold him the card and i sold him the rig which i knew was fine he messages me a week later saying it keeps black screening on me i'm like how man i spent like a week fucking tuning that thing there's no way the overclocks were bad on it right so anyway we what's the what's the, what's the holy bible of overclocking restore defaults and see if it still does it step number one restore defaults and it was still doing it fresh windows install all that shit and i'm like then later on i think it was hardware unboxed found out that there was a dual display uh problem with it i'm like you motherfuckers dude like amd like i was so fucking salty dude i was like i sold a good friend of mine a bad product It, it, here's the other thing i didn't make profit off of it i gave it to him at whatever i bought it for but it wasted weeks of my time troubleshooting helping him because i felt on the hook for selling him a piece of shit right so what do i do with you guys if it's a piece of shit i won't even give it the, the, the time of day dude it has to work if i recommend something it has to fucking work weird little nuances and bugs and oh yeah you can plug it in this display port but not two of them at the no no has to work doesn't work no nope. fucking trash dude has to work and it has to work in every single game not like uh it doesn't work in warzone and open gl and dx9 games or in coding doesn't have ray tracing but it works in horizon zero dawn and death stranding though it's like no no has to work that that sounds like an amd problem dude not my problem not the user's problem it's not the technician's problem it's no it's not the, it's not the game developer's problem it's nobody's problem but amd's dude it's, it's simple as that right anyway rant long enough